me attempt to answer your question as best I can. First of all, in September of 2011, to my recollection, I had not met or heard of Marisa Pizzuto. I don't recall when I first became aware of her. You're sure about that? I'm not sure about that. Oh. It's yeah. possible. I don't know. Well, that's not what you testified to. You just said, I did not. We referenced a bill. You're now saying, I don't know. Uh, object so, objection. Would you like to start again and simply say, well, well I'd like to straight. When did you start speaking to Marisa regarding this case? And seeing that she was the one who put the chronology together, and that was number one, it would be a natural to assume that you guys spoke about this. Now, I'm asking you, when did it start? Objection. Objection. Hey, Mike, John Friedman, got your message. Uh, sorry, I missed your call. The, you called on my cell, and I was in the office, and so it doesn't ring through. Um, in any event, I don't know about any meeting on Friday. It is not including me. I don't see any reason for delay. Um, I don't know what uh, Nick is thinking um, in terms of the delay. I certainly think that irrespective of the lawsuit, uh, going to the authorities would be the smart move now. <laughs> Yes, we represented you. Um, M Morrison Mahoney, uh, his management, informed Nick that they didn't want Nick and uh, obviously myself as his associate to uh, sign on to the complaints under Morrison Mahoney's name. After 10 months of work that I paid for, <coughs> is that correct? Objection. 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 Um, I don't know how to answer that question. Um, after I lost my my Senate race, um, the people I'd been working with to collect the information, sort of construct the whole story so that we could go out and communicate it to people in very small, understandable sound bites, because it's a very complicated situation, um, asked me if I would continue, and I said, you know, really... Um, I could potentially do something, and they said, uh, well, w we had a meeting, and, you know, they said that um, if I would actually work on contingency for them, that, you know, they would actually pay me. They picked the number. They picked the terms. They said, you know, a lawyer is paid this way. This is not in front of a judge or anyone else, and I didn't force anyone to do it. I didn't force anyone to sign a contract. I was working in good faith for the best interest of all of the victims and said, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. 